NBA Draft 2023 Surprises, Winners and Losers from the First Round The first round of the 2023 NBA Draft saw a generational seven-footman as five talent hearing his name called at no. 1. Trades involving top minus 10 picks and one player surprisingly sliding out of the lottery. The moves NBA teams made Thursday will have a ripple effect into free agency the 2023-24 season and beyond. As expected, French frenum Victor Wembanyama was drafted with a first overall pick by the San Antonio Spurs. Wembanyama's status as a most hyped NBA prospect since LeBron James in 2003 gives the Spurs hope of building a run young superstar. Several other teams are hoping their picks will give them similar hope, including the Charlotte Hornets after drafting Brandon Miller and the Portland Trail Blazers, who selected Scoot Henderson. Prince Amen and Asa Thompson became the first brothers taken in the top five picks of the same draft in NBA history when the Houston Rockets took Amen at no. 4 and the Detroit Pistons took Osar at no. 5. The first round also saw its fair share of trades, as the Indiana Pacers and Washington Wizards swapped draft rights for Bill O'Kalibli and Jarius Walker, and the Oklahoma City Thunder and Dallas Mavericks swapped draft rights for Jet Howard and Derek Lively Roman too. Our basketball insiders break down the biggest storylines from the night and what they mean for the league moving forward. What surprised you most from the draft? Jeff Borzello, Bill Kalibli going at no. 7 seemed a couple spots early. Perhaps the surprise wasn't simply Kalibli going ahead of the likes of Jarius Walker, Taylor Hendricks and Cam Whitmore, though, but his rise over the past few months. He was barely on the radar this time a year ago and was still an afterthought earlier this season. Over the past couple weeks... Buzz had grown that he was going to be drafted in the lottery and his proceed ceiling just kept rising. It's a long-term play with huge potential for the Wizards. Tim Barn tempts the lack of trade activity. Only two teams, the Sacramento Kings at 24 and Boston Celtics at 25, moved out of the first round completely on draft night. The other two trades that happened during the first round came in the form of a pair of swap picks in a lottery. Given how wide open it seemed like things could be heading into the draft, it was interesting to see it play out close to how it was lined up at the start of the night. Jonathan Germany, The Lack of Surprises By NBA draft standards, it went almost entirely the way we thought it would, starting with Brandon Miller being drafted second the worst-kept secret in the NBA the past month and continuing with the fact that we were able to project 18 of the top 24 picks precisely to the right team and 28 of the 30 players who ended up hearing their names called in the first round overall. That doesn't normally happen. Sure, there were a couple of players who went higher or lower than we thought they would, but overall it might have been the most predictable draft we've seen in some time. Jeremy Wu, Chet Howard at no. 11 was the main thing I wasn't expecting, but it wasn't entirely out of left field. We knew Orlando needed to add shooting, and it opted for him instead of Grady Dick or Jordan Hawkins, placing a bet on Howard's potential to become a more dynamic all-around scorer playing alongside Franz Wagner, Paolo Banchero and Anthony Black. It's not necessarily what I would have done, and I didn't see it coming, but in the first round that went mostly according to our projections, this pick stood out. Dave McMenamin, besides Grady Dick's red sequin jacket. The lack of centers selected in the first round. There's an argument to be made that the three best players in the league are all centers in Nikola Jokic, the reigning finals MVP, Joel Embiid, the reigning regular season MVP, and Jainis Antetokounmpo no further context needed for the Bucks superstar. That said, there were only three centers in the first 30 picks, Victor Wembanyama no, 1, Derek Lively Roman 2 no, 12 and no Clowney no, 21. And when Benyama declared he wants to play the four next season, with the five playing alongside him.